So here we have it. Got the rails on all the way around. Completely done. All right, so first thing up with these handrails, uh, I'm gonna be utilizing the six by six that's tied into the house right there, as well as the six by six on that corner back over there. Uh, I didn't wanna have to redo the light bolts and all that, and the six by six post is still structurally okay. Uh, there, was gonna, there was one six by six post right here, and there was another one here in the middle, and then of course you have the one down there that was on the handrail, you had one right there as well. I'm replacing these with four by four posts. Uh, I don't see the reason in, in putting a six by six back in there. Uh, I only have one eight foot four by four post at the moment. Uh, and that's big enough to have it cut in half and, uh, and make two posts with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, railing to right here. I'm gonna put a four by four post right here. And I'm gonna put the other four by four post right here in the middle. And, uh, and, and later, I'm gonna go make a run down to uh, Lowe's, go buy another eight foot four by four post and I could put uh, another post right there and I could put another post right there and then I can finish the rest of this to right here. So for right now, I'm gonna do railing from the middle of the deck down to the corner and then back over here to the house. So I'm gonna figure out the height of my six by six post so I can determine how high my four by four post needs to be, which is the same height. And then I'm gonna come over here to the corner of the deck and I'm gonna to toenail uh, that four by four post right down here in this corner, just as the other posts were previously, like the one you see on the ground down there, that six by six. And then uh, the way they had these tied in was, uh, um, you know, they shot toenails, they shot toenails into the four by four post, into the deck, and then they ran a, a board up the side here. It, it came straight up the side, and, it, and there was a board that ran up this side as well, up onto the 4x4 post and it was tied into the post and the deck itself and that helps to kind of make it structurally sound right there in the corner so that's what i'm going to do i guess i did that instead of using uh, metal brackets or whatever that you should normally use i guess i'm going to put it back the way that it was it was fine uh it didn't you know the rail didn't move or anything like that it seemed pretty pretty solid so i'm going to roll with that so let me go ahead and get my 4x4 post and let me grab this measurement and figure out how high i need to go with that Okay, so it looks like my rail height is going to be right at about 41 inches. Um, so that's what I'm going to roll with is uh, 41 inches. I'm going to cut the uh, 4 by 4 post to the same length. Get two of those cut out and get those installed. Okay, so now that I got my two 4x4 posts set right here on the deck, if you're wondering how I determined the location of this one, I simply looked down the uh, the post there and see there's a crack right there, a seam from the joists, and they're on that post. I just centered this on that post. So anyway, uh, I got these two posts in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and like I said, I'm going to brace it. I'm going to get a 2x4 uh, a and uh, I'm going to run a 2x4 along the post on the back side straight down to the beam down below uh, i'm gonna cut a 45 degree angle or, or you know maybe even more than that i probably will do more than that i'm going to taper the edge of the two by four post uh, so it kind of transitions up nicely then it's going to go down and it's going to trans transition to the post down below so uh looking at the the length that the previous one was <clears throat> looks like i need this thing to be about two feet long so I'm gonna go to two by four and I'm gonna cut it two feet long and uh, taper the ends on this post here. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do it on uh, both right and left side or the, the back side of the house and the, the left side of the house for this one as well. Throw it in there at the, at the base on that as well as uh, right there on that side. So let's go do that. Okay, so this is the boards that I've cut now. Uh, like I said, two by fours, cut on a 45. That way when you put these up, 
it's kind of a more aesthetically pleasing transition there instead of just being a squared off end so i'm gonna go ahead and tap those uh couple nails that are protruding tap those in on both sides and then uh go ahead and get these screwed in Now I've got my bracing on my post as you see here. It is rigid. This thing is uh it's it's not moving. <laughs> I'm 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 really impressed with how that works. Uh so now the next step is gonna be to measure the gap uh between this post here and this post here. And then I'm gonna measure the gap between this post here and this post here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out two by fours. Obviously, I'm gonna start with this with this rail here first. This is my first order of business here. Uh two by fours. Uh, cut them out to the to, to fit so I could toenail them inside this post here. It's going to be perpendicular uh, with with the ground, uh, so it's going to go it's going to go in here, you know, long ways like like this, toenailed into this board and into that board over there. So I'm going to measure this gap here, and uh, and I'm going to cut out two two by fours, and then we're going to start doing the uh, the balusters on the two by fours before I actually mount the two by fours to the post. That way it's easier to do because it'd be stupid to, to mount the two by fours and then come back and put the balusters in because i'd be on a ladder outside of the hand railing so let's measure out this gap see what we got all right so i've measured it out i got my tape measure down there i've measured it two or three times i'm just showing you looks like we're at about 114 inches so that's what we're going to go with cut a board uh cut two boards to 114 inches okay i've got my two two by fours both of them are cut to uh 114 inches in length uh, I test fit to make sure they were good. The next step of this process is going to be to go measure the gap on my balusters. I saw a trick on somebody else's YouTube they were using. They would take a 2x4 like this and they would drop it in between. They would drop it in between the balusters. So they put it in there and, and that's how they got their spacing. And they just run a, run a new 2x4 in there. So let me check and see if these are spaced out. With the two by four, yes, they are. So there you have it. Um, two by four for spacing. I need to measure my length to see how long these are. So I'm going to measure that real quick and uh, figure that out as well, so I know how long to cut my balusters. I saved a little bit of money, and I bought balusters. Uh, I just bought one by twelve foot sections here. So you see, that's that's what I've got. I didn't buy the actual balusters themselves because it was it was cheaper. Just buy this and just measure them out, cut them, and uh, and screw them in. So yeah, get a couple more measurements and show you what I come up with. All right, so my uh, my balusters are 37 inches uh, tall is what they are. It's 37 inches tall. The actual uh, railing is about 37 and a quarter inches tall. Uh, what I have here is like I said, it's 12 foot uh, piece. I'm gonna cut it down. It shows according to my math. I can get 3.9 pieces So I'm gonna have some leftover material. So I'm just gonna go ahead and measure it out uh, 37 inches put a mark 37 inches put a mark and 37 put a mark and I'm gonna come back and cut them out and we'll start laying these things down on the board See what I can get for a handrail So you may have noticed I'm using the same piece of wood to mark out my measurements on the new board here. That way my measurements don't grow. And what I mean by that is if, if I change this board out that I'm using right here, if I change it out, if I, if I lay it on here just like this and I mark it out and I cut this board out and then I take this board and I take it and lay it on the next piece and I use it. To mark out the the, uh, the template and then i cut that one and take that one off what's going to happen is this this board is going to get 
uh, maybe like a 30 seconds of an inch longer with every single cut and eventually my boards are going to be longer and I don't need them to be longer. I need them to be the same size on every single cut. So I've got this one that I've laid on the trailer and I'm using it as my guide to determine exactly how long to mark my next baluster measurement. So stick with one board. Don't, don't change them. All right, so as you just saw me do, I use the uh, the two by four method between the balusters to space them out. I started at the end. If you have a, a rail that's important, like when I do the back side of the house, the, the actual rail facing the yard, I'm gonna start in the middle and actually mark measurements out and mark them out, make sure that there's even spacing to either side. Uh, however, uh, this this end here is going against the house and it's not super important um, that, it's, that it's perfectly even with the one at the end. I'm gonna have a baluster even with the the post on the corner of the house there, on the corner of the deck. So uh, this one I'm not too worried about. I'm leaving it just like that. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some screws in this, get this thing knocked out so I can hang it. The camera overheated so due to the heat the camera will not start back right now so i had to take a break and uh, grab the cell phone so um pretty much what you just what i hope you saw <laughs> what i just did uh was i actually had to loosen up uh this four by four post here i had to loosen up that that two by four that's bracing it uh, because it was pulling it out at the top and my my two by four railing at the top uh, i had a big gap it was like it was like that uh, so I had, to, I had to loosen up those those screws there, back that out of touch. Uh, and then, of course, <laughs> me trying to put a nail, or excuse me, screws in this in this board right here to the to the post, that was fine. But then when I get all the way back down here, I had a gap. And the gap that I had, uh, I was unable to get uh, this this two by four to pull up into that. So it was it was about right here, about that big of a gap. So, Use a little bit of ingenuity. I went and grabbed a ratchet strap and uh, I just wrapped the ratchet strap around the top of that post there and brought the, the strap all the way up here and I wedged it here uh, between the brick in the house and this board and I cranked on it a couple times and it pulled this board on in tight. I went ahead and shot a bunch of screws in there, shot screws in the bottom and then I came back over here and I finished this out with my screws here. You know, just, just toenailing it, toe screwing it, whatever you want to call it. Shot some in there, two in there on the bottom. Same thing on that part down there on the bottom. Now, 
Uh, I need to brace the center section just a touch. It's not bad. It does wobble just a touch. Uh, now, before I took this, uh, this hand railing down, there were actually braces. It was a two by four. It was wedged underneath the bottom, just underneath the middle of every handrail section, just to kind of brace it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and get that done. I'm gonna cut out a two by four, and I'm gonna cut an angle on the end of the bottom so it kind of transitions nicely. Stick it right there, and uh, yeah, so I'm about to cut that out now. I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so the camera's still a little hot, but uh, here's what I've cut out. It's a, uh, just, just like I said, two by four, 16 inches across the bottom, and it's eight inches across the top. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and wedge this underneath the bottom there, get it nice and centered, and I'll shoot some screws in it. All right, so here we are. Got a little brace installed on the bottom here. You see it there? Not too bad. I shot a screw in uh, right there, and another one in over there. And I got three toenails right here on this side. It's uh, pretty sturdy. I think I'll shoot uh, two in from the back side. Anyway, uh, that completes our balusters on, on one portion here. The next portion of this is going to be uh, installing a piece of one by right here on the front against uh, this two by four. And I'm going to run it all the way across there and uh, to this side here. And then we're going to take uh, the same thing that we're using on the decking. And that's going to be our, our actual railing. We're going to slide that in this, this crack here and run it all the way across the top to this side over here. And that will complete our uh, first handrail. Not too bad. Okay, like I said, still with a hot camera. I can't turn on my camera to show you me doing the process. But here you can see a piece of one by. Uh, I went out and cut this. It was 114 inches, pretty much the same length as the as the handrail was. Uh, and what I've done is I've, I've put it up here against my hand railing, all the way down, and I shot a screw every third, every third or fourth baluster. I shot a screw in, so I went through there, went through there, all the way down, and so forth. So now I'm going to go grab the tape measure again, and I'm going to measure from the wall down there, uh, from the wall very, the furthest down there up against the brick all the way up to uh, the outside edge of this. And I'm gonna cut that piece out and then I'm gonna cut the, uh, the, the center piece there on a, or excuse me, I'm gonna cut it on a 45 on the inside edge here so that this piece comes out here and it, and it comes up to a 45 right there. So when the, this outside rail here comes in, it'll also be at a 45 uh, right there also and they'll, they'll mate together nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And here we are back with the new cap installed. So like I said, I got it on a 45 here. Uh, this, the end of this point here is even with the outside of the four x four here. So that's, that's what I'm going for. The other one should butt right up to it and run along that four x four there. It should be, should be good to go. So um, there's that. And uh, that completes one rail at the end of the deck. So now, I'm going to go ahead, since I showed you this entire process, I'm just going to show you little snippets as I finish the rest of these handrails around here. from the missus this one was too big for me to carry on my own and it's nice to put somebody else to work and help me out if I need the hand I could not carry this up the stairs by myself there's no way anyway um, here's the next piece of one by I'm gonna attach that right along here from the inside of this post up against that edge all the way down to the other side there and uh, I also have a, uh, a support just like the one over there on the bottom it's gonna go right here in the middle I'm getting ready to mark that out and put it where it needs to go No, not right there.
So here we have it. Got the rails on all the way around. Completely done. Like I said, same process that I did on this rail. Exact same thing. So did the, uh, the balusters with the 2x4s, attached those, came in, hit the 2x4s into the 4x4 post with some toenails. I screwed it, but it's a toenail process, toe screw process, whatever you want to call it. Uh, came back in, added a piece of 1x underneath here, level with the top of the 2x4 to create a support for the handrail itself. Ran that all the way down, and then I came in with the, uh, the 5 by quarter board and added the handrail on top. Same thing I did on this one all the way down. Had a little help introducing the missus. This is Miss Tiffany. She may be helping me in future videos. I can see this being a, a good thing. I'm tired of doing stuff by myself. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be DIY dozers. Anyway. All right, so the scary part, time to dismantle and remove our stairs. Um, again, never done this before. But I think what I'm going to do is just take a sawzall to it, cut it all down. Mr. River giving you a show. He's showing you that it's still a good staircase. It's still good, isn't it, bro? River, come here. You look like you're wanting to jump. Get up here. <laughs> Safety first. Where's, where's your hard hat? So anyway, we're going to cut this thing down. We're going to leave the 6x6 six six posts in the middle for support. And we're going to leave the 6x6 six six posts at the base. And after it's all cut down, we're going to start with our new stringers. Attaching those to the deck here and setting them up and uh, Attaching one board at the top and one board at the bottom to get our spacing and after that we're gonna start start laying stairs